Yeah, yeah, well I went to Birmingham University, I did a history degree, um, when I graduated I went straight into a job in PR at Willoughby, which is a Birmingham based kind of independent PR agency, worked there four years before I um, was asked to head up a new uh, sister company to Willoughby called Neon. I was there for three years, had a fantastic time, worked on some great clients, had a, you know, built up a really good team. Um, I guess I got to that crossroads in my life where I thought, it's now or never really, if I want to set up my own business, you know, I was 27, um, it was the right thing personally for me to do and professionally I thought, I, I need a new challenge and that's what I wanted to do. So I set up Rewired um, after a brief, um, let's say a little holiday abroad for a few months. I set up Rewired in June 2008, um, so the company's about 18 months old now. How important was that to your company working? I think it was vital to be honest with you. I mean, I think anyone who goes to a new city to set up a new business is incredibly brave and I have a huge amount of respect for them because um, particularly in the industry that I work in, in, in PR and marketing, your contacts are everything. You know, not only potential clients, but also other businesses that you need to collaborate with, other services like print and design, um, but also the journalists and the media. You know, if if our contacts are, you know, what people pay us for, then it's really important to have those um, regional contacts um, and obviously national contacts too. It's absolutely vital. I mean particularly working in PR but I think it's the same for any small business or any entrepreneur your contacts are everything you know and traditionally it could take you a year to generate a new client um, in PR you know you'd be trying to meet up with people trying to get space in their diary to have a coffee um, putting ideas together for them you know it can take a long time for that to actually turn into anything social networks speed that whole process up for me you know I've, I've certainly discovered that we've been able to make contacts as a business and individually within that business um, very very quickly and that's has translated into new business for us uh, on a far smaller time scale than you know, traditional methods. Um, I don't think entrepreneurship is for everybody and I don't think I ever set out thinking I was an entrepreneur you know that I would never have labelled myself as an entrepreneur I labelled myself as someone who had ideas and creativity and wanted to see that through. Um, I don't think it's for everybody no I think that's why you know some businesses fail because you've got to have that kind of real grit and determination to see things through. Um, you've got to accept that some things won't work out how you want. You probably will have a failure or two on the way. Um, but I think if you've got that in you and you know you've got that drive to succeed, then you know you've got every chance of making it happen. Um, not really, to be honest. I, what kind of drives me is being able to give a really personal. Um, service to clients so um, I've worked at big agencies I've worked in-house um, organizations but I, the way I see Rewired growing and what I'm planning for is a company of about eight to ten people um, still working in quite a specialist area across creative leisure retail um, but having um, a big enough team that can work on big brands and service big brands